Good evening, Rotary Club members and all the other friends of Rotarians. Thank you very much uh, for being here. So here is the question to you. How many of you would like to double and triple your happiness in your life? Just say the word me in the chat box so that I know that you are paying attention. Just type the word me in the chat box. If you are someone who really wants to double your happiness, thank you. Are you someone who is really interested to enhance your productivity and stay focused in spite of all the distractions around you? Just type the word me in the chat box. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Murli Sundram, popularly known as the happiness coach. And I'm going to share with you in this short presentation why less is actually more in our life. But before that, let me thank each one of you. Being a Sunday, you could have invested time anywhere else. But you all decided to be here with all of us. So give a lot of clap, clap in the chat box and appreciate everybody's presence over here. Thank you. And I should also thank Vaishali and Kalpesh for inviting me for this session so that I can share my experience. Thank you very much for that. Okay. Now, what am I going to do today is very simple. I'm going to share with you uh, because the name is Happiness Coach. Everyone asks me what is happiness. I'm going to tell you the opposite of it. But I'm going to share with you two keys of unhappiness in your life which is causing all the troubles and sufferings in our life. And knowing these two keys will help you to get rid of all the unhappiness and the sufferings and the troubles in your life. Are you interested to know that? Type the word I in the chat box. I'm also going to share with you one interesting thing today because I'm not going to do anything new today. You already know everything, whatever I'm going to share with you. But the only challenge with many of us is we know a lot of things but we do not take action. Yes or no? So I'm going to share with you why human beings, in spite of knowing many things in life, we do not take action, thereby we can stay happier and healthier and prosperous. If you are someone interested to know the secret behind why we don't do, just type the word I in the chat box so that I know that you are really, really interested to know that I'm and also I'm going to share with you four ways in which I am practicing how I can be always happier, healthier and prosperous. I'm going to share that with you. If you guys can take action, apply it, I'll be very, very happy if you can do that. Okay. So, but before that, I think you had an introduction of who am I? Just a quick background. My name is Murli Sundram. I'm a happiness coach, author and an international global trainer. Uh, I've trained so far more than 283,000 people in the world, leaders like you across the world but uh, you know more interestingly you know when i went across the world what i found out is many of them know everything in our life but very few are ready to take action in their life so when i went deeper to understand why human beings don't take action i figured out the most interesting secret from my personal research that Human beings, they have a huge problem. Okay, well, many of us have a huge problem. Okay, you all know that. You would all seen such people that knowing if I know something, I oh. act and behave as if I have done it. Am I right in saying? But knowing is not doing. Only doing is knowing. Instead of being a human beings, I see many of them are human doings in their life, continuously doing one after another, after another, after another. And another, instead of being, they are more into the doing more. So that's the reason why I am here today to share with you how you can move from a doing mode to go into a being mode. Okay. How I many of you are interested to uh, pay attention and uh, give your full support? How, what percentage of attention can I expect from all of you? Can you just mention that in the chat box? Are you guys really excited to know that? Are you ready to put some attention? Wow. 100%. Awesome. Very good. 200%. Someone says 99%. Awesome. Thank you very much for saying that you're going to put 200%. But let me guarantee you one, one thing. Okay? I'll guarantee you one thing. Okay, One interesting guarantee. Promise. Okay, That for sure, for the next 45 minutes, you are not going to pay 100% attention to me. I can guarantee you on that. Okay, It's a test for you and your own mind inside you. Because the minute you know the minute people see my name, no happiness coach, and the first question they jump and ask me is, uh, can you teach how to be happy? I always tell, hey, I actually cannot teach how to be happy, but I can always teach you how not to be unhappy in your life because 
there are two keys of unhappiness in our life okay there are not key there are more than the keys of happiness there are keys of unhappiness in your life and there are only two keys of unhappiness and that is the reason why i i told you that you can't pay attention to you to me okay not to me to anything else also the number one key of unhappiness in our life is donkey how many of you have seen a donkey in your life have you all seen a donkey in your life can you tell me what is the job of a donkey what is the job of a donkey what's the purpose of donkey can you just share your answers in the chat box what do you think what is the job what does the donkey do from morning to night carry loads fantastic thank you manisha for that you know the job of a donkey is to carry loads carry weights yes or no i'll give you a very interesting analogy of how there is a donkey inside each and every one of us you know we wake up in the morning okay and we go to our office not now okay once upon a time you know once upon a time means five months before we were all going to our office yes or no we were all going to our factories and our setups so when whenever we do that you know the first person whom we don't want to meet he will say good morning to us we suddenly sometimes we get irritated we don't want to talk to that particular person or when you are traveling on the road one biker will cut across and you really want to shout and scream at him why can't you go in a disciplined way but we will not do that in our own organization okay many a times we really want to shout and scream at our own teammates but because of various reasons we would have just put our face in a different way or if you are married you will understand okay your wife will come and ask you how is the kana is it good you know what is the answer all the men in the room will tell me exactly the same answer i'm sure right you all know the answer right because you can't tell the other answer you know what will happen because of that right so every single day okay the same happens with the wife also right you know sometimes you know really want to give one slap to their husband and say get lost do your work but we can't do that because of family rules society rules company rules you know all these rules in our life we have put inside our head instead of expressing our original anger emotion frustration or even crying instead of showing all these emotions we put a different face in our in a put a different emotion on our face and put a smile okay sir you will get things done i'm sure if you are a business you will understand that nagging irritating client huh? you really want to get rid of that guy but that guy will irritate you to the core how many of you can agree with me how many of you have experienced uh, situations in your life where you really want to express the original emotion but you suppressed it and you showed a different emotion just type the word me honestly in the chat box if you have experienced any time in your life or do you experience this every single day with many of us thank you thank you very much for being very honest to you now what is happening in our life right from the time you are aware from your young age to till now there are lots and lots and lots of situations where you really want to express that original feeling original emotion but because of various reasons you suppressed it and you gave a different emotion yes or no like the donkey carrying loads of weight we have trained ourselves to carry lot of unreleased emotions as the burden in our heart there are a lot of unreleased emotional burdens which we carry as a heaviness heavy load and thereby you know i'm sure you all will agree with me for no reason this emotional volcano would have erupted for some other reason instead of showing or to, showing to the right person you would have erupted on some other person yes or no for no reason you would have shouted and screamed at your children for no reason you would have shouted and screamed at your friends or family or teammates and then later you felt very bad how many of you have experienced this in your life say yes in the chat box if you have any day done this in your life like this donkey we have learned to carry these emotional burdens in our heart and do you know that today okay the medical community always says the number one reason for all the stress and stress related diseases in our life is because of these unreleased emotional burden that we carry and suddenly it erupts and causes all the danger today i'm going to share with you how you can kick this donkey out of your life thereby you can always stay healthy and happy are you interested to know how to kick the donkey out of your life do you believe that if you just imagine do you believe 
that you become more lighter, more calmer, more peaceful. Nothing affects you. How many of you would like to live a life like that? Type the word life in the chat box. If you're someone who really loves to live a life, a very peaceful and a calm and a very, very light life like that. And that's what I'm going to share with you how to do that today. So the number one key for unhappiness and all the sufferings is these emotional burdens caused by that donkey inside us. And the number two reason which causes unhappiness is called the monkey. The number one is donkey. And the number two reason is the monkey. How many of you have seen a monkey in your life? Have you seen a monkey in your life? Have you seen? Not in the mirror. In real life, I'm talking about. Have you seen a monkey in your life? I'm sure you'd have seen that, right? Have you any day seen this monkey sitting in one place? This monkey keeps on jumping from one tree to another tree to one branch to another branch. Yes or no? Like this monkey, we have created an amazing monkey here called a mind. This mind, I'm sure you all will agree with me, right? From the morning, today morning to till now, even the time we started this session, you would have observed that the monkey mind doesn't sit in one place. Yes or no? Suddenly, your mind would have gone to the past and would have started recollecting all the past memories. You know, what and all happened in my life. You don't know how much struggles I've gone through in my life. You know, that movie will play in your head. And if that past movie is bored, the monkey mind goes to the future. As if in the future, you will solve all the problems of your loans and EMIs and your business, life challenges, everything. And if both the past and the future is bored, the mind monkey goes to the fantasy channel. In the fantasy channel in your mind, we solve every global problem, including global warming to Corona to everything. Because we imagine ourselves to be the Avengers team or the Hulk or the Superman or Batman and we solve everything in our head. Yes or no? How many of you have experienced your monkey mind jumping from past to the future or to the fantasy island inside your head? But we have never allowed this mind monkey to stay in this moment of our life. And some of our mind monkey is not an ordinary monkey, wild monkey. Sometimes it is even a wild drunken monkey. I know we are, you are guys are in a dry state, but still, sometimes it behaves like that, right? It goes everywhere. You don't even know which direction this monkey will take you. But we have never, no, where does it start? How many of you have a habit of brushing your teeth in the morning? Do you all brush your teeth today morning? Just go back to that past today morning incident of brushing the teeth, okay? When you were brushing the teeth, tell me honestly, what were you thinking? What exactly were you thinking when you were brushing your teeth? Only your hand is moving. Your mind has gone somewhere. What to cook today? What to do today? Why did I wake up so early today? What are the various things to do? Yes or no? Or when you're taking bath, okay, when you're taking the bath, instead of enjoying that water falling on your body, your mind goes out somewhere. So this is how we start training our monkey mind to check out and go everywhere for an mental excursion. These are the two keys which causes all the unhappiness and stress and sufferings and distractions in our life, which doesn't allow us to stay happy. See, each one of us, I'm sure each one of you, today morning you woke up that today should be the worst day in your life. Did you? Did you by any chance you woke up and you prayed to God that today should be the worst day? I'm sure you will not, right? Every single day you wake up with the thought that today should be the best day. Today should be the most happiest day. Yes or no? But what happens every day? Every day is like one emotional roller coaster. Morning you wake up happy and one phone call comes, everything goes down. One ting in the WhatsApp completely completely destroys your whole focus itself. Yes or no? One email, one phone call, one WhatsApp thing, one emotion, one facial expression on your wife. Everything is gone. Yes or no? So that's how it's like an emotional roller coaster throughout the whole day. Throughout the day, none of us stay happy. We became happy, then we sad, we get frustrated, we get angry, depressed. You know, everything goes around like one big wave. Yes or no? How many of you have experienced all these things in your life? Type the word me in the chat box. Whatever I've just said right now so far makes sense to you and it is happening right now in your life. Remember with all these things, with all these happenings right now in our life, we want more success. We want more clients. We want more money. We want more, everything more in our life. Yes or no? So today I'm going to give you exactly opposite. Why less is more 
and if you focus on few things less you can actually achieve more happiness more success even more money in your life by focusing on the lesser part of it are you all ready to take action if i share that with you how many of you will take action type the word action in the chat box after this particular session will you really take action type the word action in the chat box let me see how many of you are ready to learn all these things okay and at least any one point you will take action will you really take action type the word action in the chat box let me see how many of you are taking action by typing the word action in the chat box wow that's amazing all of you are saying ah since all of you are typing the word action i'm going to tell you a big secret to you okay can i tell you a secret just come little closer to your camera come little closer come little closer come closer come closer i'm not seeing you i'm going to tell you a big secret huh? don't tell this to anyone okay 99% of the people who said that they will take action have never taken action do you know why do you know why that is why well, that was my biggest research in my life i was so curious to know why human beings are not able to take action how many of you agree with me walking is good for health do you all agree with me you all agree with me right but do you go for a walking every day no we all know eating junk food is bad for health yes or no but do we all avoid that we end up in eating that yes or no so almost if you ask me everyone in this room we are all fantastic amazing business leaders here we already know what to do what not to do for our life yes or no but the only problem we have is we don't take action so i was always more curious to know why human beings are lazy why are they procrastinating why are they postponing things in spite of the fact they take action they want more money they want more success they want more happiness and but they are not ready to take action okay even if they take action you all know how we all take action it's because right now we are living in a distraction economy everyone is distracted right from the morning to evening everyone wants that piece of your distraction in your head yes or no because that's the reason all the successful business leaders give you only one formula if you want to be successful fq is to be very high what is fq focus caution the person who can stay focused for a long period of time achieves more success in their life but we all know that but you know the problem is we are not able to stay focused for a long period of life yes or no so i was more curious that's where i ended up uh, you know doing a personal research with more than 25000 business leaders professionals managers ceos and students across the whole globe to understand why we struggle to take action we all want to do it okay it doesn't mean that we don't want to we all want to do various things in our life but we don't okay is there anything that you want to do but you have postponed it in your life just mention that in the chat box you really want to do it but you are postponed it you have just pushed it a little later you said that like, i will take action later is there anything like that type that in the chat box because whatever i'm going to share with you see whether you can apply that towards that particular action in your life you know i went and found out one interesting connection between neuroscience and our ancient indian yogic science to the management science because you know when i studied neuroscience i found out one interesting uh, element of the human brain that there are specific centers in the brain responsible for specific action okay if you want to develop your math skill there is a specific area in the brain for mathematics for geography for biology for physics for planning for thinking for creativity for problem solving time management there are different areas in the brain uh, this was found out in the year 19 not mine by the by a scientist called dr broadman so i was more curious no if there is a center like that then obviously there has to be one center of make sh- making sure that human beings also will take action yes or no so for you to understand this let me explain the brain science in a layman term because it's really important that all of us should know this if you want to actually achieve more in your life okay uh, let's say that uh, we i think all of us will agree with me that we have a lot of strengths and we have a lot of weaknesses also yes or no i'm sure that none of us in this room is going to tell that i don't have any weakness in my life we are a combination of both strengths and also weaknesses yes or no so let's take any one um, example of uh, strength okay if i ask you what is your strength can you mention that in the chat box just go ahead type the word strength or yes type the word 
what's your strength what according to you or people would have told you right for me many people tell me that hey you are a good speaker you communicate very well whatever you say we can hear understand very clearly so that's my strength public speaking or speaking effectively what's your strength similarly each one of us will also have little bit of weakness also yes so at least one or two weakness will be there right so you know some of, i i'm sure you all would agree with me some of the, so i'll just give an example of public speaking for some of us public speaking is a weakness how many of you agree with me it's a weakness for many of us okay sometimes we really get scared no we can talk one to one the minute you put in front of one to many only air will come out of the mouth words will not come the tongue will get stuck yes how many of you experience that so let's take an example of speaking because all of us are business leaders um so why for some person public speaking is a strength and for others it is not it's very simple there is a specific area in the brain responsible for speaking if that area is active if that area is active you get that particular function in your cell if that area is either very low in activation or not at all active then that skill takes lot of time that function takes lot of time okay how many of you understood what i just said uh, a very big neuroscience in a layman term i just explained to you that there is a specific area in the brain if that place is active you possess that area's function okay same is the case with anything else so i was very curious to know why that area is active for kalpesh how come kalpesh is able to speak fluently and not me you would have you would have observed now when you go and attend training programs or public seminars you will see that guy is presenting very well probably you know better than them but you are not able to speak yes or no so what is the reason why one person has that as a skill is because that area is active and why that area is active it's a very simple neuroscience wherever the blood flows in the brain that area becomes very active but we all know what blood carries blood carries what oxygen absolutely blood carries oxygen so it means neuroscience says wherever the blood flows in the brain and goes deposits oxygen that area gets nourished thereby we take lots and lots of action so i was more curious to know why some human beings are successful and some are not some are very happy and some are not happy so when i found out that it's very simple why one area is active because it's it is determined by the type of breathing they all do okay that means our ancestors in our country who lived 2000 3000 years ago they mentioned very clearly wherever the oxygen flows thereby your brain starts functioning the way you breathe determines who you are is what they said the way you breathe huh? the way you breathe when i went and studied the breathing pattern of many many leaders across the world i found out the mediocre leaders or mediocre people they were all breathing at 14 to 20 breaths per minute whereas the highly successful business leaders they were breathing seven or eight breathings per minute one inhale and one exhale is one breath they were only breathing seven or eight breaths per minute but you know what our ancestors gave a prescription for a healthy life and a peak performance of the brain our ancestors were bloody brilliant huh? they figured out this neuroscience many 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 years ago that means i'm talking about 2000 years ago that all you need if you want the this processor to be at the highest possible potential that means your brain the processing capability of your brain to be at the peak and your body to be at the peak health and you always be at the best of yourself all they recommended was only 5 breaths per minute just five breaths per minute was the recommendation given by our ancestors five breaths means one inhale and one exhale that's it five breathings per minute was their prescription and you know what neuroscience went and spent billions of dollars to figure out the same answer that at five breaths per minute the body's autonomic nervous system is in complete balance so what our ancestors said is very very simple you breathe less you actually get the more out of this machine and that's the reason i started sharing why less is more my suggestion and recommendation to each and one of you is anyhow you are breathing yes or no some of you are breathing i'm sure that all of you are breathing otherwise you are not going to be alive. you are not here watching this session 
all we need is put little bit of attention to the air going in and coming out and if you just slow it down you will find the miracle happening with this machine the minute i lowered my breathing count i found amazing results in my life my whole life started changing completely different completely everything can change different the way in which my brain started thinking was different the way in which my brain connects unconnected things is super fast and i am i'm able to have lots and lots of energy people ask me the same question how the hell you have this much energy right from morning to night how come you are with this much amount of energy i can honestly tell you if you breathe less you will actually have more energy in your life okay and as of now this is the only thing which doesn't come under the gst or vat it's free breathing is literally free right now all you need is breathe slowly and deeply okay you don't need a big religious master or a spiritual guru to come and tell you and put one religious connection to that and tell you because it belongs to nature my dear friend all you need is invest 10 minutes of your time in the morning and in the night to practice slow and deep breathing how many of you agree with me that it is possible to invest 5 to 10 minutes for my own breath do you all do you all agree with me that it's possible just type the word agree in the positive agree or possible or yes in the chat box if you believe you can do it 5 minutes 10 minutes in the morning focus sincere whatever whatever pranayam you know whatever breathing you know no problem just it's not a rocket science all you need is just lie down close your eyes and just count for 5 and breathe out for 5 that's it you don't need any other rocket science and you know what this breathing is the raw material for all the great masters in the whole world they just packaged it in a different different way just to convince your monkey mind that's it so there is no other rocket science here everyone uses the same raw material even i also teach the same in a varieties of way so all you need is if you really want to achieve more happiness more energy all you need is to ensure the brain works effectively and for that we just have to breathe slowly and deeply i'm sure that this is a very simple actionable tool that all of us can practice right from today or uh, every single day yes or no and uh, some of the other ways in which you can remember is uh, maybe every time you maybe you can set an alarm throughout the whole day and set an alarm and whenever the alarm rings no take one nice deep breath breathe in and breathe out so thereby throughout the day there is an opportunity for you to remind yourself that you need to breathe slowly and deeply because all of us are very busy doing and doing and doing we suddenly forget that we are human beings not human doings in our life yes or no so that's the number one method to ensure we can actually simplify a lot of things and the best part is this i'm sure all of you are using a lot of computers and laptops you have used your phone just imagine you, know, you have opened up varieties of application okay one excel sheet one powerpoint varieties of browsers on your tab and you are doing lot of work and you have to shut down the computer tell me when you shut down the computer what does the computer asks you the computer will ask you have you saved the file have you closed everything can you close this application it is hindering the whole shutting down process you would have all experienced that yes or no the same is the case with this machine also from morning to night we open up multiple browsers in our head one for our husband one for our wife one for our children one for our company one for our client one for ourselves one for the media one for the government one for the haters varieties of loops open up in our head so when you go back to sleep you need to close all the windows and tabs and the file thereby you can actually go and relax yourself yes or no so that's the reason why ladies and gentlemen breathing is one of the most easiest very very easy tool to shut all these things thereby when you go and rest today tonight you can sleep more peacefully how many of you would like to sleep very peacefully because sleep is one of the best medicine in the whole world and before you go to sleep 5 minutes of breathing 5 minutes of pranayam just go ahead lie down take a nice deep breath and breathe out and breathe in and you will find an amazing quality of sleep so whatever i've told you right now i told you in the beginning i'm not going to tell you anything rocket science okay i told you in the beginning i'm not going to tell any rocket science i'm going to keep it very very simple but we don't do all these things yes or no so my sincere request to each one of you is just breathe slowly 
and deeply thereby you can actually ensure you can have a lots and lots of energy that's number one number two is the most radical irrational thing i'm going to suggest to each and one of you because everyone comes and asks me mudli how the hell you are having this much amount of energy how come you are able to think so fast how come you are able to apply so fast okay so this is my suggestion to each and one of you see whether it is possible okay if it's possible apply it otherwise just drop it okay this is what i've been practicing for many many months and uh, from my life all i need is eat only two times a day just shift your whole eating pattern to twice a day you will find your computer works in a super high speed eating three times a day is an ideology installed inside your head like a virus and you believe that you have to eat a lot but literally the number one reason why we get all the diseases in the world is because of our over eating also so one more thing why are we having too much of diseases in the world today is because of our eating habits less is more that means less food is more health in our life and i will also add one more extra parameter don't eat 100% to your tummy 70 to 80% of your tummy only you have to eat there has to be 20% gap or a space in your body when you are eating also just take two meals a day you will find your whole body healthy whatever happens you will not get any disease you can stay healthy if you if you want to know more about it huh? i just recently read an amazing book called ikigai i don't know how many of you have read this book go and read this book called ikigai where the book is based on the research from 120 year old japanese people living in an island and that is also the same suggestion they've also been giving eat less eat only 70 or 80% of your tummy and interestingly we actually can achieve more in our life so number one breathe less number two eat less if you want to get more in your life number three this is the most difficult thing which i'm going to suggest you some of you will not agree with me some of you will say not at all possible because your monkey mind is going to play with you google it with you okay uh, because you you ask yourself okay what is the number one reason for all the irritations and frustrations and sufferings in our life the num- there is only one reason huh? why do you think we get angry we want someone to behave like this they behave like this there is an expectation mismatch we want our company revenue this much but the company revenue is only this much there is an expectation mismatch and we want our loved ones to behave in this way they behave in that way they want us to respect this way they respect that they actually behave in a different way so the number one reason for all the emotional turmoil we have in our life is having too much of expectation from everyone around us and some of us have a huge problem with our own self we have a very high level of expectation high standards high perfection and we beat ourselves out from morning to evening and that is also one reason that expectation mismatch within yourself or people around you or situations around you you wanted some things to happen this way and just look at what has happened in the whole world one invisible microorganism has taken the whole control of the whole world yes or no how many of you ever predicted in the month of march our life will be like this none of us right but our life is still continuing yes or no we are still living we are still happy we are still healthy so that's the reason why one of the third principle i always follow in my life is expect less from everyone around don't have any expectation it's like our krishna says in bhagavad gita do your work and get out do your action don't expect any results out of it our job is to dissolve our karmas in our life by performing that particular action if you are doing business that's our dharma we have to do that particular action we just have to do that but without any expectation attached with it okay our job is to do it if it comes very good if it doesn't come excellent so that's a very very higher level of attitude which is required in many human beings but most of us have the other way you know we end up in if i give you 10 rupees what i will expect back from you that always that expectation causes the whole trouble and worry within us okay i will always say expect none but if you think that it is little higher order asking expect less reduce your expectation okay reduce your expectation little bit from yourself reduce your expectation from your clients or vendors your teammates okay so we reduce it you don't have any expectation you go out and do your job and get out it's their problem after that 
so that is another uh, principle which i follow every single day i i actually don't expect much out of anything my job is to teach and i will exit and the last but not the least no? one of my favorite uh, principle which i follow every single day is i put myself less that means i work selflessly to help others because if you look very you look up our own life right from the morning coffee to the eat to the breakfast to the night and whatever dress we wear and everything around we need the support of everyone around us we are living in an interdependent world and if and everyone are responsible for whatever i do in my life so there is an interconnected web so it means it's not about me alone everything it's all about helping others it's all about serving others okay so the last one is selfless and serve more and that's the reason all of us rotarians over here you're all here because of that one reason only yes or no as a service oriented we are all here to serve the community we are all here to serve others and that's the reason we have all come here together so put yourself down talk less about yourself do more for others because you know when you do more for others we actually feel happy yes or no how many of you felt more happier when you gifted something to your wife or husband how many of you felt really happy when you gifted something to your children how many of you really felt happy yes or no type the word yes or me in the chat box when you do things for others more you actually feel more happier inside us so that's the reason self more and do more self less and serve more for everyone around us so these are the four principles i follow every single day in my life which is keeping me more happier healthier though i run three different businesses morning to evening i non stop zoom full meetings directors and trainings and teammates and in the gap i have to study 200 pages every day watch one movie every single day and i that's how my life is all about okay but it's very simple uh, because i keep on uh, saying this again and again and then i read it in a beautiful book and i will always suggest you guys to read this book i've been suggesting this for the last 10 years then i found an amazing book which exactly told what i was telling it's called company of one by paul jaravis a beautiful book i will suggest each and one of you to go and read this book so the author beautifully says first decide what lifestyle you want to live and build a small profitable company which suits your lifestyle thereby you will not only earn the profits you will also know how to enjoy your life and enjoy the money that you're all making so many of us we put lot of effort in making lot of money just turn around and see what is happening in our world everyone are spending that money to stay healthy after some time so instead of that every single day if we can just put a little, little bit of our time for our own self breathing okay eating less uh, expecting less and serving more to the society we can always stay happier so that's the reason ladies and gentlemen i have a very simple principle in my life less is more less breathing less eating less expectation and less more on self and do more on others serving more on others always will help us to stay happier healthier and prosper okay so uh, i hope this particular small talk of mine was useful to each and one of you if you have to take one action okay if you have to take any one word sentence idea strategy mentioned by me today and if you have to go and take one action what will be that one action can you mention that in the chat box because ultimately that's the only thing that we are all going to take because our mind monkey plays googly with us always remember so can you just mention one thing that you will take action from today onwards okay go ahead mention that because that becomes your mantra for achieving more in your life itself go ahead focus on breathing eat less eat two times a day okay and the best part is what i started doing is you know i removed the third part and i started donating that money as a charity okay the third meal a day if you want you can add that as an extra if you really want to really feel you know serving other people also so thereby you can attach a little bit of emotional purpose thereby you will feel very happy because that meal you are donating to someone who is really needy so that is somewhere uh, that will actually make you less appetite huh? you will not feel angry when you attach that particular to that okay so thank you very much uh, ladies and gentlemen for your time and energy for the last 45 minutes with me i hope uh, that made some sense to you and uh, i thank each and one of you for giving your 100% attention i hope i believe 
uh, 100% attention was there for the last 45 minutes. And I should also thank the organizers, the RCBS and Vaishali and Kalpesh for inviting me.